and getting back to my container as you see it's coming along I think when I spoke last on this uh, I'd added in these solid rounds uh, just to give it some effect at the door end and now I've just received uh, my angle irons which will go in the corner and that will basically finish it off so these are the two millimeter by two millimeter really quite small anyway we see how it looks once i get it on and they're from uh, evergreen scale models not cheap by the way so i just cut this tiny little piece of uh well it's just it's tiny because it is a small angle iron two millimeters by two millimeters and we'll stick it on uh, the corner here and see how it looks so there it's in place and it looks pretty good once you get it painted up it'll look even better and you know get the four corners done and i think that might be it so think about it i'll look at a couple of reference photographs and see if i need to add any other sort of identifying parts but yeah it looks good i just gave uh, the container uh, a quick spray with gray as a base coat um, it's pretty cold out there in the garage so I'll, I'll need to give it a second coat uh, later but it certainly uh, brings it to life as you can see and uh, will look pretty good once it's finished well here we are again with the container scrap bin and I've given it a light second coat of the grey base paint and now I'm going to have a go at painting it with a, a top colour. Now before you say, oh Charlie why don't you use your um, spray gun or an airbrush? Well I have an old airbrush and it's pretty manky and uh, I doubt if it will work, so I'm, I'm just having to resort to the traditional method of um, painting with a brush. Not really sure how this is going to work out, but you know, let's uh, let's have a go and see. Now, this blue is called tropical blue it doesn't really matter uh, what kind of blue it is because I'll rust it up and uh, it won't be as noticeable the colour doesn't look too bad and I've, I've used this old third hand thing which is proving useful in this case it allows me to hold the camera steady uh, while I paint it now this is acrylic um, which I purchased from a dollar store. It was like a dollar fifty. But you know, it's about minus fifteen out in the garage. Um, I went out there and blasted this a couple of times and then came back inside very quickly.
I'm just using an ordinary flat brush, uh, a few dollars at the art store, pretty basic one. I don't want to use a good brush and ruin it. I mean, I have some watercolour brushes that were fairly expensive. I'm certainly not going to use them. I don't really recall what um, these type of container bins were. Um, in terms of colour back in the late 60s, early 70s. I mean, they just came, they just began to gain popularity um, in the late 60s. Yeah, this has been an interesting little build. As long as you get all the corners square and that's the hard part and then cutting and fitting all these small pieces that I've got on here and that's pretty challenging so you don't want to watch paint dry so I'll just close off now and we'll, we'll catch up when we're further along in this little project Just adding a little bit of yellow here. Just kind of dry brushing it on. I think that will do that and then I'll as I say I'll find an orange type colour put it over the top of that and I'd say it's just about finished so this is the next step uh, I use the brush to wet uh, the model and then I poured salt over it and the whole idea is you probably already know is that that will cause uh, the paint to flake where the salt is or where the salt is being applied so uh, I'm, I'm hoping for a good result there uh, once I brush it off so the next step was to use these Tamiya weathering master powders and I've applied them here. Now, it's very subtle. Um, I'll see if I can give you a, a demonstration of how subtle it really is. I'm taking some of this gun metal and we'll try and... Oh, it makes it easier if it's down there. So I'm just going to run it along the top edge here it's the top around the edges it does show up and we'll try and get some of these rods now I'm just going to dab in a little bit of the rust colour just to see if we can get some I'm just giving it a sprinkle with the toothbrush. Um, let's get a little bit of a different level of granularity in the detail. Get a little bit too much on there. 
And finally, I think I'm just going to take some of this pastel powder, uh, red colour, and just try and pull out some detail. And I think we're done with the application of painterly effects. It's really whatever style you want to make it and how far you want to take it. And and you know, from a distance across a, a board, you're not really going to see much, but you'll know for sure that uh, it is weathered or rusted. So the last thing to do is just spray it uh, with a matte finish and that will be the next and final step. I've taken a piece of uh, plastic card it's a thin piece and I've added to it a variety of things, uh, broken wheel sets, uh, pieces of track, some tin foil, uh, shavings from a pencil, bits and pieces of other stuff and this will represent a scrap load so what I'm going to do now is I'll start painting this and see where it goes. So I'll put a base of brown on and leave some areas of the tin foil and the track showing through and then I'll, once that dries, I'll, I'll add some black and take it from there. I just gave it its first coat of black acrylic and it's beginning to take shape and form. I'll probably use some silver uh, just to pull out some highlights and then see what happens. I've just added some silver uh, to pull out some highlights and let's just see what it looks like uh, once we put it in the container. Now that's a pretty ram jam full container of uh, scrap, but you must admit it really looks apart. Very simple little project, easy to do, and uh, well worth the effort. So now we've got the scrap container uh, finished and uh, I'm sure it's going to look great in its location in the scrapyard. We'll just drop it in here and tell me how that looks. I think that looks fantastic and here's a, an earlier one that I did. Yeah, it looks right at home there. So thanks for dropping by. Uh, Please remember to give me that big thumbs up, ring that bell, and please subscribe. I really appreciate that. And also just have a look for the the usual videos that are coming up. You may, you may find something there that you enjoy. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.